Yo, 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 yo. What's going on, guys? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. Coming to you guys with the 15, 15 game NBA slate. Election day is Tuesday, so there'll be no games that day. So they just crammed them all into this slate. So yikes. And the games are like, I think they're all like 15 minutes apart. So have your phones ready tomorrow, guys, if you're going to play. Um, if I have time, which I'm probably going to make time, I'll probably do a live before lock show. I'll probably do it an hour before the members only podcast for the DFS club. Um, so make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment down below. Cause if we get to a hundred likes, we've been getting to the hundred likes. No problem. We got to get to a hundred comments. We get to a hundred comments and a hundred likes. I will give away a free one month DFS club membership guys. I just love to give back. So strap yourselves in, take some notes. Without further ado, let's start the fucking show. All right, guys. So, yeah, as usual, get your drinks out. My choice tonight will be a White Claw watermelon. And let's pop the top. Woo, I love that sound. Cheers to you guys. Oh, that's good. That's good. So, man, as usual, Sunday nights, I'm just drained mentally from all the sports from all weekend long. Um, NFL, one of my DK lines did really good today. Really high on Justin Fields. Um, That didn't change from the video either. So, Justin Fields' line did really good. Aaron Rodgers went out there. It's time to hang it up. So I mean, he underthrew every pass. It's it was like he lost his strength or something. I don't know how to explain it, but no excuses. That was all Aaron Rodgers, man. Um, so yeah, we played him like I did. Didn't do well on those lines, but the Justin Fields lines did great. Um, cashed in the showdown tonight. Overall, could have been better. Missed on NBA. Um, one of my NHL lines came across Sundays are weird with, with your, your, I call them during the week sports, which are NBA and NHL are my during the week sports crush them during the week weekends. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I think personally, I, I still have my theory of these guys go out and get all fucked up at, you know, especially the road teams the night before the game. So it's the weekend. So, um, hopefully you guys did good. And I'm looking to bounce back today, guys. If you want to come bounce back with me, check it out. Come join the DFS Club, guys. We have over 700 freaking members. Go to dfsclub.com. Click join now. But we got, <clears throat> take a look before you move on, though. We got DFS Space, my brother, uh, myself, Skywalker DFS, 700 members, every single sport, guys. Every single sport. It's a thankless job, but I love doing it. Um, I would I'd rather wouldn't rather do anything else. I don't know how to how to quite say that. I'm looking at my camera. I forgot that Smoking Joe licked it. And I'm surprised it's not all foggy. So I probably should have cleaned that before I uh, came on here. But anyways, there, there we go. It's going on on my tangents. Um but yeah, I play every sport, guys. You get all my lineups, ownership projections, top stacks, you name it, you get it. All you got to do is click join now after you're done looking at all the winners there on the slideshow. Uh, click on my logo, Skywalker DFS, so I get credit. Thank you very much. Schroeder's right over there. He'll be joining us, I'm sure. He's over there grooming right now. And check it out. So we cover prize picks, um, sports wagering, prop bets, you name it, guys. We cover it. Check out these prices. 14 bucks a month. Affordable for everybody. Everybody, silver, gold plan, which is cheaper than everybody else's monthly plans. For fuck's sakes, we got three-day passes. I will work my hardest for you guys, like I always do. Stop taking the fucking bus, and don't you dare be sour. Come join the DFS club and feel the power, because this is where the winners win, man. This is what we do. I've been a rich man, and I've been a poor man. I choose rich every single fucking time. 
dfsclub.com guys don't miss out man you can't find a better deal out there that i promise you all right so also down below is the super thanks option um you guys want to throw a couple dollars in the tip jar goes towards the channel i really appreciate it just a way of giving back if i ever help you win uh any money really appreciated and you get a special shout out in the next video so just uh um if you guys are so inclined not necessary but is appreciated i'm looking over here like waiting for sure to get over here because normally when i do the super thing segment that's when he pops up out of nowhere because you know it goes for his, his salmon treat so all right let's get into it guys we've got a big ass slate almost as big as my baby's mama not quite nothing's that big but all right so i went through i got some core plays for you guys these big slates like this i'm not gonna break through every single game my game that'll take for fucking ever so i'll give you the core plays guys first up we got tory craig he started last game cam is out i'm assuming he's still out it was a blowout too um it is a tougher matchup with philly i think Embiid will be back also so that that don't help things for uh for Tory Craig, but he's only four thousand dollars. So if he gets to start again, I'd assume he gets more like twenty five minutes if a game stays competitive. It should be right, Phoenix and Philly. So I like Tory Craig for a value play at four K. And then Zubots is going to play tomorrow at six point four K. He's going to play his full thirty plus minutes because they're playing the they're playing uh Cleveland, so they're going to need the size out there. Whenever the Clippers pay play bigs. Zubats is going to play his minutes. Last time against Cleveland, guys, he got 52 fantasy points. So, love it. Get him in there at 6-4. I think you can get him a low ownership, too. Kelly Olenek's in play against the Lakers, 5.5K. Um, if the game's close, you know with him, he'll play his 30 minutes. I like to attack the Lakers with bigs. It's not really that big, but he, he plays center, for fuck's sake. I know, look at him. I know he looks like a fucking a hobbit or something like that off of one of them lord of the rings fucking shows but don't he though like, he look like he'd be like uh what's what's a lord of the rings name i don't know i don't watch that stuff i'm a star wars geek but i'm not that much of a geek you know what i'm saying there's a lot of walking i've noticed in those uh lord of the rings movies why are they walking so fucking much i don't know anyways a tangent there's a tangent for you uh kelly olenic at five five i mean he's cheap as long as he gets a 30 burger I think he can. Last time he took the Lakers, he did. He got 31 DraftKings points. You got my man, Brooke Lopez. Giannis will be back for this game. He just sat out that last game to rest his knee. Cheers. So that takes Bobby Portis out for me because they priced him up too high. DraftKings is tripping. The only reason why Bobby Portis got all those extra minutes was because Giannis was out. But I still like Brooke Lopez at 5'8". Um, what a year he's having, man. 35, 19, 25, a 40, and a 37. That 37 last time was against this Atlanta Hawks team. So I like them. And then Washington and Charlotte. So Chris stops poor Zing is at 7 7. We play bigs against Charlotte. It works every damn time. Most of the time. He got a 25. I don't know what happened last time. I don't know if it was a blowout or what. But Rozier's back. So hopefully it'll uh, keep this game close. And uh, he didn't do too well tonight. So hopefully that draws ownership off of him, too. I love the price tag. I love the matchup. I love the Bradley Bill. I can't. Is there seriously fucking health and safety protocols in the NBA? In 2023, we're going on here. Like, so we're not going to play if we if we got a flu or a cold or the sniffles. Like, come on, NBA. You're the only ones left doing this shit. But, yeah, Bradley Bill's out for health and safety protocols. Here we are. Fuck. Stupid. Fucking. Anyways. Um, Porzingis at 7 7. Looks like a smash play to me, man. Hopefully, like I said, ownership's low because, but they played him tonight and got fucked. That's all we can hope for. Devonta Sabonis at 8 6, going up against Golden State. As long as he can stay out of foul trouble, that's his only problem. If he can stay out of foul trouble, he'll get 50s every night. 52, 52, 40 in his last three, and he'll play big minutes, 37, 37 minutes. Last game against Golden State, 46 DraftKings points. Golden State will lose again. 
Like they're, they're gonna they're not gonna win another game the rest of the year until they fire fucking Steve Kerr. Let's just make that clear. Um, I love Sabonis tomorrow eight six. My favorite payup is gonna be Luka Doncic twelve point five k. I like him over all the twelve k. There's a lot of twelve k players now. Um. 62 60 58 but against brooklyn guys this matchup is juicy so i think ben simmons will be back so kd won't be out there by himself but luca should tear him up last time against him he got an 83 i love him at 12 5 and bow 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 like you put two bowls together love this guy man 6.6k and a competitive game it's a great matchup against Houston. If it stays competitive and Houston can keep up, he should play damn near 30. He'll play anywhere from 30 to 37 minutes. 37, 17, 36 in his last three. So, bo bo. And then Paolo Banchero. I don't care how you pronounce it. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. I call him the Banshee because I love that nickname, and I don't want to change it. So, he's 8'7". I'm hoping the price tag keeps people away. I really do, because it's a beautiful matchup against Houston, guys. People are saying, oh, 8 7 for Banchero. That's about right. Yeah, it is. It's about right, but you can get a 50, and we'll take a 50 for 8 7. He got 62 last game, and it's a matchup, guys. I love playing the matchups. Play the matchups more than you play the players, if that makes sense. Let a play a plate. Marcus Morris, 5.4K, continues to smash, guys. Um, I don't know if John Wall's gonna play on a back to back, so we'll see. Luke Kennard's been out, I believe. So Marcus Morris has been smashing 30 and a 44 in his last two, and he's gonna play big minutes 34, 34, 37 in his last three. 5.4k looks really good, and I like Julius Randle at 7.6. I like the price tag, I love the matchup. Minnesota plays at such a fast pace that I love. Um, they suck ass at Garden Bigs, guys, they're 30th in the league. The price is really good. He's four hundred dollars cheaper on Fanduel. Love the Fanduel price. I just hope the loan the ownership is very low. So give me Julius Randall at Amir seven six. These Sunday night beverages are so good, man. After these weekends, Kyle Kuzma with no Brad Beal at seven K. I like it. He's priced where he should be, but it's the matchup. It's the matchup. I'm going to keep pounding that home. Now, two games ago against Charlotte, he got a 67, 6-7. Six, so, love me some Kyle Kuzma. Isaiah Hartstein should start again. I don't know why he wouldn't. Mitchell Robinson will be out. This man played 38 minutes, guys. I didn't know he'd play 38 minutes, so I played him. But it, normally, you give him 38 minutes, this man will get a 60. He's like 4.4 fantasy points per minute, but he only got a 33, surprisingly. Um, the matchup's not great, but I still like the price tag at five, two. He's going to play 38 minutes again. Hell yeah. And then Kyle Anderson, slow-mo got the start out of nowhere. They said, oh, Naz Reed's going to, you know, is it me or has underdog fantasy been kind of fucking shady under, was it underdog fantasy labs, whatever the fuck it is. They've been shady. They say Naz Reed's going to start. And then, like, shit, like, lately, like, well, 401, one minute after lock, Embiid is in or Embiid is out. You guys have noticed that lately? They're going back to, they swore they wouldn't never do this. It would be totally different from Fantasy Labs. But guess what? They're pulling that same shit that Fantasy Labs used to pull. Kind of shady. So, Kyle Anderson, after lock, was announced as a starter. I switched him in. I'm glad I did. He got 30 minutes, 35 DraftKings points. He's only 4.1K, guys. If Kyle Anderson starts again, I'm going to play him anyway because I just don't trust underdog anymore, man. Uh, I'm so so disappointed, man. They were a nice change from Fantasy Labs. He used to always play. He's, you know they play, too. So uh, Troy Brown for the Lakers. He's only 3.8. I'm going to give you some value the night before, guys. He's going to come off the bench, but, man, he's been getting decent minutes. 26, 22, 29 in his last three. A 20, a 17, and a 31. So, against Utah, I don't mind it. And on today's small three-game slate, I pointed out Patrick Williams in the, in the podcast today for the members only. 
I like it again, man. 3.9K. He's going to play 30 minutes. For a 3.9K player with, you know, you got a 29 tonight, 15 and a 28, 27 before that, 16. Last time against Toronto, he did get that 29. It's a back-to-back, and they're playing each other again. So I'll go back here, 3.9K, if nobody's going to play him. I'll pat myself on the back for that one. I mean, it's a value play for a three-game slate, for fuck's sake. Um, Chris Boucher, I don't mind going back here. Kind of didn't do shit tonight. He's 4-4. And he only played 22 minutes, which is kind of surprising. No Pascal Siakam Malikam. So I'll go back here. Hopefully that just brings his ownership down, going up against Chicago again. Uh, Kevin Herter, I like that he had a floor game. He got it out of the way. He got a 16 last game. Still played 32 minutes, and he gets Golden State. I love the Kevin Herter play at 5'6", man. He's got 30, 40, 45 fantasy point upside. So, But he has those floor games. I'm glad he got it out of the way. I think this is when we pounce. Laurie Markkinen, he's okay. as long as He's another one, man. He gets out of foul trouble. He can get a 60 burger. So Laurie Markkinen, 7'5", where he should be. Um, I'm going to take Joe Harris out because I think Ben Simmons is going to play. James Suge Knight, Bug Knight, 3.3K. He comes off the bench for Charlotte. But, man, he's getting minutes, 20, 27, 28. His minutes are going up, up, up. Love seeing that out of a almost bare minimal player. 21, 28, 13 in his last three. Yeah, I like a, the, the dart throw here with, with Suge Knight, James Suge Knight, 3-3. Um, three, three. That's really good. Clay Thompson. He only raised his price by a couple hundred bucks. He's back, man. He's back to playing like Clay Thompson used to play. I'm going to ride the hot hand, man. He's only 5'7". A 34 and a 30. I almost saw that. Okay, he's almost like exactly. Yeah, so exactly a point per minute. 30 minutes, 30 fantasy points. 34 minutes, 42 fantasy points. So as long as his threes are dropping, he should get a 40, 50 fantasy point night. Now, 5'7", I'm willing to find out. Fuck these all all these warriors are well rested because they got rewarded for a day off after losing. Don't even get me started on another tangent, okay? Spencer did what he looks great. Six thousand dollars. His minutes have been through the roof. 31, 35, and then 37. Poor Tim Hardaway, man. Um, but yeah, 30, 42, 37 DraftKings points in his last three. Going up against Brooklyn. Give me Dinwiddie. Buddy Hugh. He's now up to 40 minutes, guys. Buddy Hill got 40 minutes last game. 38, 35. Mr. 40 Burger. 40, 40, 44, 40, 40, 44. Love that. 36, 37. Going up against New Orleans. I like Buddy Hill at 6'6. Six, six. Give me Paul George. No one will play Paul George on a 15 game slate, are they? I don't think they are. It's his team. Kawhi's out there somewhere playing golf, um, sitting on his couch. I don't know. He don't want to play basketball. Paul George, it's his team. He's only 9.3K. Cheers. Shout out to Paul George for manning up. I think that's too cheap, guys. He can barely easily be a 10K player. Uh, The matchup with Cleveland's pretty good, too. And always Toronto, guys, with no Pascal Siakam Alikum. OG Ananobi, I guess he's going to get 10 steals a game. That's what he's been doing, man. He's been steal, 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 like four or five a game. 6.2K, though, still too cheap, man. 24, he's going to play big minutes. As long as the game's close, all these Toronto starters will play mid to upper 30s minutes. 43 and a 47 and a 40. Give me OG, triple OG at 6.2. DeAnthony Melton should continue to start without Harden, man. He's 5.3. I think Embiid will be back, though. Um, But as long as Harden's out, I'm playing Melton. He's only 5'3". He's $300 more on FanDuel. Should be chalky. Monty. Monty Morris. Again, health and safety protocols. 4.8K. He should start. Now, he played 33 minutes tonight. Only got a 23. That was so painful. My goodness, that was so painful. But uh, you get Monty 33 minutes against Charlotte. He'll go the fuck off. So give me Monty. Give me fat Fred Van Vliet. He's only 7'6". I played him today. He's a little on for a three-game slate, too. Glad I did. He played damn near, what, 40 minutes? Got a 56-burger. 
at seven six, you got to play Fred, especially with no Pascal Siakam to like him. Colin Sexton, my dude, only four six. He's playing thirty minutes a game, and he draws the Lakers guys. So I love this role that he's in now. He's gonna come off the bench, but he's still getting thirty minutes a game. So Malco Brogdon five two. This is what we've been waiting for. His minutes went up. So 28 minutes in his last two, 34 and a 32. I like it. I love the 5-2 price tag. Give me Malcolm Brogdon coming off the bench in Boston. Jamal Murray's too cheap at 6-2. He should easily be at least $7,000, ladies and gentlemen. $300 cheaper on FanDuel. He gets San Antonio. San Antonio. 23 minutes, 28 fantasy points last game. He only played 23 minutes. I think it was a blowout. I think him, I know Jokic had a floor game because I was going for a takedown. Guys, I went on this crazy, like, three-day NBA run up until today where I was top 20 in all my contests. And I have won big. I can't complain. But Jokic, I had him that day at 7%. And he got a fucking 40. I'm like, oh, my gosh. If Jokic would have at least got a 55 or a 60, I would have won all the money. I would have taken it all down. Um, And nobody played my lines. No one's been playing my NBA lines. I hope they didn't play them today because they missed. But um, the whole Denver team sucked. So I'm not going to really go against Jamal Murray. I'll go right back here at 6.2K. I'm going right back to the hot streak, too. It's so much fun to win big, right? Win big or go home. I hate men cashing. Sometimes I'd rather lose than men cash. I want to win all the, all the bread. Russell Westbrook coming off the bench. I've been saying this since day one. That's what he should be doing. The Lakers want to win games. Very productive off the bench, guys. He's only 6.5K. He's $200 more on Pandle. He'll still play 30 minutes off the bench, which is good. 43, 42, 35 in his last three. Give me some rest. Darius Garland's too cheap at 6'9". Any 6'9", that's what she said. What she always says. Um, but yeah, anytime he's under 7K, you got to play Garland, man. You got a 63 two games ago in 42 minutes. And the minutes are still there. You got 38 minutes last game and a 39. Last time against the Clippers, you got a 50-burger. My man, Jalen Brunson, I'm going to always play this guy because he's always on a 15-game slate. He'll probably be like 4%. That's my projection. I probably haven't projected a 4% ownership. And he'll get you out 40, man. Go on, fast pace against Minnesota. 42, 41, 30 DraftKings points in his last three. 32, 35, 31 minutes. So, love Brunson. I love the ownership. He's always low-owned. And he's broken a couple slates already this year. Terry Rozier, chocolates. 7.7K is too cheap. He should be 8.5 and no less. So, the fact that he's 7.7... Seven, <clears throat> Excuse me. No. Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. My voice starts going here, and I still have an NFL video to do. But yeah, he should be eight five guys. Terry Rozier, no Gordon Hayward. Thirty six minutes, forty DraftKings points. If he gets a fifty sixty against Washington, like I wouldn't be surprised. We got Tyrese Maxey, seven point eight K. He's priced where he should be, right? Him and Melton gonna be up up on the one and the two. Sure, 47, 43, 38 in his last three. Gets Phoenix. I just hope the matchup, like the game, stays close. That's all I can hope for with this uh, Philly-Phoenix game. It'd be a good game to target. So give me a maxi. Give me CJ McCollum, guys. 8.5K. He should be 9K. He should be. He's $300 cheaper on FanDuel. Going up against Andy. Let's go. 8.5K. That's it. 48, 42, 51 in his last three. And then my man Tyrese Halliburton is only 8-5. Like him and CJ, like you can stack these guys. CJ is shooting guard eligible too. So um, 52 Tyrese, 30, 53. He plays big minutes, 33 to 36 minutes a game. Last time against New Orleans, he got a 48. So sign me up for some Tyrese Halliburton. And then you got the rest of the Toronto players here. Scotty Barnes, 7.2K. 40 minutes, 41 DraftKings points. He's a point per minute guy. Love Scotty, because Scotty doesn't know. Anybody know what movie that is? Let me know in the comments down below. And then Precious Achua for a GBP dart throw. I liked him today. For some reason, he only got 14 minutes, right, without Siakam. But when Siakam's there, he'll get 26. 
I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain it, but I'll go back at 4-2. Hopefully today's performance just keeps the ownership down. I mean, for 14 minutes, he's still got 17 DraftKings points. So I just love these Toronto guys. They're affordable, and then the ones that start, they just play almost 40 minutes a game. Because don't tell Scotty, because Scotty doesn't know. Let me know, guys, in the comments down below what movie that is. Also, for the giveaway, so if we get 100 comments down below, make sure you put, if you're not a member, put not a member of the DFS club. That way you qualify for that free drawing, guys. Um, I think we can get there. We haven't gotten there in a long time. I think we can get back there. 100 comments, 100 likes. Let's give away the, this month's DFS club membership, guys. Super thanks down below. If you want to throw me a super thanks, I'd really appreciate it. it keeps the lights on, keeps the channel going. Um, and you get a special shout out in the next video, guys. Let me bring it up. Let me bring this up. You guys got to see this again. DFSclub.com. I'm so passionate about this. This is our home. This is home. This is the website. Again. We play every sport, guys. You get all my lineups. You get all the tools you'll ever need to make a dollar and a cent in this business. Look at the slideshow. Look at these big winners. And they're paying, they're paying $14 a month. If, they're, if they get the silver or gold plans, they're playing, they're pay, what? Less than that. I cannot stress this enough. We made it affordable for everybody. I know we'll get to 1,000 members, and we might have to cap it. I don't know. It's getting out of hand in here, guys. A lot of people are here now. But uh, I love it. This is why we created it. Click join now. Click my logo, Skywalker DFS. And then the plans, guys. The plans. And we do the members only podcast, most importantly, one hour before lock. That's when the news comes in. Especially on a 15-game slate, you're going to need that news. Keep your phones on you tomorrow. You're going to need them. Um, things are going to get fucking nuts. Hopefully there's not too many, like, Last minute injuries, late scratches, that type of shit, right? Hopefully you avoid those because there will be. Mind you, there will be. So hopefully you guys avoid those. Like landmines, you know. Hopefully you don't step on one. But uh yeah, guys, we got three day passes too. Stop losing. Stop taking the fucking bus, like I always say. Start winning. Come join mess, man. Come join the family. We'd love to have you and set your clocks. I'm gonna try it out. I'm going to try it out this week. I'll see. I'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to probably do a live before lock every, every day this week. We have an NBA slate. Um, and uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon, too, so you know when I go live. And then leave me a comment. Guys, if you're not a member, put not a member. And let's give some shit away. I'm Gabriel Skywalker. Thank you so much. Schroeder's over there sleeping. He got the night off, apparently. So uh, maybe he'll show up in the NFL video. We'll see. We'll see. I don't force him to do these. So when I roll, if he, if he wants to come up here, he comes up here. That's just how it is. Thank you so much. I love you. God bless you. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Absolutely nobody. Schroeder, let us get the fuck out of here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.